this stuff is bugging me. Now I know it doesn't look like a lot, but until you get up here, those birds straight up carpet bomb my roof. Has all those dried up water spots. You can clearly tell more bird poop. More bird poop. I don't know what this guy ate. And then we have tires caked in mud. My brand new exhaust tip caked in mud. Beautiful. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We got the F-150 here with us and well you guys saw this thing is in need of a wash. I need to get it prepped up for the work week coming up. Can't be out here riding dirty guys. Just can't. It's a crime. And some chemical guys, citrus, walk and walk. This thing was wonders. I get no peace, cause I get no green when I'm living stress free. Cut down trees like memories. The second I make it, I'm leaving the scene. Yeah. Tapping like I do, they don't envision it I don't want my motive to be the money Creating like I'm so hungry They looking right at me funny Cause they don't really get it They don't flex, they ain't blessed They just rest, they don't stress like I do Here's our final product. Seats have been vacuumed and cleaned and wiped. Very nice, pristine. And then we look at our floor. Woo! Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. But as I said, this is the cleanest I've ever seen the floor liner of this truck ever. Back seat, back of the seat has been wiped. Cup holder, everything has a nice shine to it. Door cards looking even better. You gotta make sure you're, oh I gotta touch that up. But you do want to also clean the door jams. Door jams, the little trim pieces on the inside. All of it must be covered. Everything's looking good. Look at that. Beautiful. Nicely clean. I'm curious to know what techniques do you guys use when you clean your vinyl floor? I literally just hit it with water, scrub it, and then I'll use the arm roll, which isn't too bad because it's not very slippery. That's my main concern. What I'm looking for is to have that nice, beautiful shine, but I don't want my foot to be slip, slipping all over the floor when I'm driving. Fairly simple, although the shine doesn't come out as much as I'd like it to. There we go. Took a bit of time, but the truck is 
finally coming together. So I emptied out everything out of the F-150 on the inside, and this is it. Now I'm surprised that it's this much. You know, most of it's tools and materials, and uh, pencils. Look at this, I even found my old key. So I only have one key for this thing. My dad lost the other one. And I actually had this cut at the dealership, which is actually surprisingly cheap. I think the dealership cut the key for me for $15, I think. Anyways, guys, all this stuff came out of the truck. The inside of the truck is empty now, so all we have to do is hit it with our cleaning products. Quick detail, I wouldn't even call that a proper full detail, but it was a quick detail of the truck. Everything have been cleaned up, vacuumed, wiped down. There's still some microfibers back there. Vinyl floor is actually looking pretty good. Floor mats are better than they were before. Now bear in mind, this is like a few days afterwards. It's gonna get dirty, it's a floor mat. Truck is looking beautiful. So while on the topic of interior stuff, a lot of you have been asking me about these trim pieces and how they are holding up. Now I do have quite a bit of them. Steering wheel, window switches, all four door handles, vent covers, look at that, see? Even have it on the gauge hood. And as you can see guys, it is still holding up even after the sun is constantly hitting it. Still good have one in there that one's a little defective though if you look in there it's starting to flake off everything else guys is holding up just fine especially the steering wheel one because obviously my hands are always on the controls and on the steering wheel obviously definitely a nice addition to your truck makes it look that much nicer we're gonna take that bumper off guys because it's not meant for the truck I hate it well I don't hate it but it's just the fitment bothers me a lot gap here extending out this much I don't really appreciate that we have the proper Raptor bumper, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we have the right one coming in for the truck this time, guys. And this time, I'm going to definitely make sure to test out the whole thing before I wrap it. So, let's go ahead and take that sucker off and put on the OEM. <laughs> bumper that is pretty dang cool sort of sort of looks pretty cool it looks like it looks like it was in an accident I don't know if I could do such a thing that looks pretty tough what do you guys think looks pretty cool looks pretty dang cool a lot of a lot of exposed parts and pieces guys it looks cool I won't lie but eh, just a lot exposed I think I'm just gonna keep the front bumper well folks there you have it F-150 OEM factory XL bumper has been reinstalled in the meantime 
until we get our grill. We're gonna keep it just like that for now until my Raptor style front bumper arrives, which hopefully will be in, in a few days. So that's why I didn't bother putting on the, the bull bar because it's just gonna be even more of a hassle to take it off, whoa, to take it off when I am uh, putting on the new bumper. There we have it, F-150 Raptor style bumper is gone because it doesn't fit for my model, but we got a new one coming in. Fingers crossed it's the right one this time. In the meantime, we're rocking the basic XL front bumper, but hey, it matches my vinyl wrapped hood and grill, so it's not all bad. That is gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that one. We gave the F-150 a nice little interior and exterior wash and clean, and then we also put on the Raptor style bumper, but we went back to my XL bumper because the Raptor doesn't fit, but peep that F-150. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and make sure you get right parts for your vehicle. Peace, and take care. Thank you.